Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing my April favorites. I know I'm a little late. I, f I don't know why the second week is considered late, but I'm a little late for what's considered normal. So yeah, if you want to see what my favorites were for the month of April, then just keep watching. So I don't do these favorites very often just because I feel like I don't buy enough products and play with enough different products to have favorites, but I finally think I have a decent amount. So let's get started. Let's first start with the first thing, the only thing that's not makeup related, and that is this, my baby. This is Carolina Herrera Good Girl. This is my favorite perfume. It's been my favorite perfume for well over six months. I'm just obsessed with it and I never talk about things outside of makeup so I figured I would mention something. If you saw my empties video, I don't know if my empties video is going before this or after this but I also talked about this. Um, I like I mentioned in that one, or will mention, I'm not very good at saying describing smells so I'm going to find their website that says the notes of this perfume and then I'll put it on the screen somewhere that way you can see but this is so oh good. just. I love the smell. Okay, now that we're done with the stuff that's not beauty re makeup related, let's move on. Let's actually do brushes first. Um, I am obsessed with this. It's not particularly this brush, but it's this shape of brush for applying powder here. I actually saw Rock Christy Beauty doing it and I was like, oh, I'm going to try that because I always feel like so much powder gets under there and I am very dry so I don't want a lot of powder. I don't want a lot of powder down there. So this is the Morphe M438. That's just the specific one, but like I said, it has to do with the shape and just applying a small amount of powder. Um, okay, next brush is this. And I hate to mention it because you can't get it unless maybe TJ Maxx or Marshalls or one of those places that buy things when they don't sell out. This is the Real Techniques brush and it was one of their collections. Um, I just am obsessed with the shape. So I don't know if you can see, I just love this shape for bronzing. I'm pretty sure Morphe has something that's similar to this shape. If you guys know any brushes that are like this that aren't limited edition and can't get them anymore, let me know because I want to buy another one of these. But obviously I can't get this one, so. But I do really like this shape. Once again, shape, doesn't matter the brush, shape. These two are the brushes though. So this is Real Techniques brush, nope, stop. This is EcoTools brushes. Um, I don't know if they still make these. I've noticed EcoTools and Real Techniques come out with collections and then after the collections are bought, they're gone. They never come back out with them and I, I hate that with a passion. But this one came as a trio, so there's one that's actually smaller, but these two are my favorite. I really don't use the smaller one. I like this brush, it is called their Ultimate Pot. I like using this for concealer, for just like buffing out concealer under my eyes and also on top of my lid. And then I actually really like this for foundation lately. It's called the Ultimate Buff and I just use it to literally buff on foundation. I've noticed on me though, when I do that with foundations, I've seen other people do it and their foundation is full coverage the first time they buff it. For me, it never is, ever. It doesn't matter the brush. So I'll use this to buff it all in and then I'll go back in, put a little bit more product where I need it and then just stamp with this. But it just has such a nice edge and has so many bristles. It works to do it both ways. So I actually really like this brush. That is all I have for brushes. So let's move on to primers. So one primer that I'm very obsessed with is the Quench, it's Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Quench Hydrating Primer. This is actually empty, it's in my empties video. I need to go get more. But this just feels like water on your skin. And if you are dry, this is amazing. Um, since it's also in my empties video, I try not to talk about things too much if they're in both, so there's that. <laughs> Next primer is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I love this primer, but only for a specific thing. So I love this product when I want my makeup to last all day, this makes it last all day. 
It does have the Hydra aspect, but I don't really see it as being very hydrating. Maybe it would be hydrating for you if you were normal to oily, but as somebody that's very dry, this doesn't do enough for me. But I still really like it, like I said, for the grip aspect and keeping my makeup on all day. I'm just going to mention it and put it away because I also mentioned it in the FDs video. So this is the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray, Setting Mist. This I'm just obsessed with because of the spray. No other reason. Just, oh, there's some left. Oh, no, shouldn't have done that. Mm, the end squirt's weird. Uh, but this is, oh, this is my favorite setting spray. I wish other companies would start coming out with the air can or aerosol can because I just love the way it applies to the face. It's... Let's move on. So this right now is actually ooh, one of my favorite palettes. So I don't really use blush, but when I do, I actually really like this middle shade. It's a pretty peachy shade. Um, this is the BH Cosmetics Blushing and Bally. I probably should have told you that, Bali. And then I love these two shades for highlighters. They're just so pretty. And I actually really like mixing the two. <sighs> Ooh. Sorry, I dug into it. <laughs> um, but I really like mixing these two shades because if you notice that top one is just a little too dark for me. So if I go in, wipe it off. If I go in light handed with the darker one and then mix the light one with it, it works really pretty. I actually think that's what I still have on my face. It's mostly gone. Um, but I really love this palette and it's very affordable, so that's great. Um, eyeshadow. I just recently got this not that long ago, but I'm really obsessed with it. It's the Tarte and Adeline Morn palette. I just love how basic it is, how wearable it is, how, you know, kind of for me, these colors are everyday colors, so it just works really nice for me. So I definitely love this palette just because it's so easy for me just to go in, do a basic look, and get out. Um, I did do a review on this, so if you want to see I will link it up there. Um, my only problem that I had with this is just a personal preference. I wish there was a lighter gold for the lid. But other than that, I love this palette. But that's a personal preference, and when I am wanting just like an everyday throw something on, I don't normally care too much about sparkling the eyes or anything. So. Still love that for that. Still love this for that. Um, let's go into foundations. So I am really obsessed with the Makeup Revolution Fast Base Stick Foundation for an everyday like fast makeup. Not everyday, just fast makeup. When you have like no time in the morning but you still want some coverage, this is my favorite thing to grab just because I don't have to take the time to go wet my sponge or do any of that. I just put this on, use my buff my buff brush and just buff it all out and I love that for this. This is actually what I'm wearing today. So besides this, it actually held up really nicely for 12 hours. I normally don't pay attention to that because by the time I get home, I don't care. This is really nice for quick, easy fix. I don't think it would be too good for people with oily skin because it's already, I don't know if you can even see the moisture just on it while it sits. So. I don't think it'd be good for oily skin, but for dry skin, I really like this. My favorite, favorite, favorite foundation is L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. This just looks so good. I've noticed lately though, and I don't know if it's just mine, if it's going bad, which I haven't had it very long, but it's sticking. Like, I'll put it on my face, and I always put my foundation where I use a flat foundation brush, paint it on, and then use a sponge or something to buff it out. That's how I always do it with all my foundations and how I've always done it with this. Well, recently when I paint it on and I'll go, and I'm not taking any more time than normal, go grab my sponge and I'll notice like the edges don't want to blend out. It just like gets stuck. So I don't know if this is old now and I need to get a new one, but I really love this other than that. I literally think it's just something to do with maybe it's just too old and I need a new one because it never did that before. But I still really love this <laughs> after I just bashed on it. Let's go to blush. I know I always say I hate blush, so why would blush be in my favorites? But there's something about this blush that I've loved forever. I actually, 
got this in a different shade, like slightly different shade, as like a sample like over a year ago. But I just love this and I love the shade. So this is the Laura Geller Baked Blush and Brighten Blush. <laughs> it's in the shade Tropic Hues. I don't know why, but I love this. It's just like a shimmery, pinky, coral shade. I love blushes that are coral. Like if I'm going to put a blush on, I think I like coral so much because it doesn't remind me too much of redness that I'm constantly trying to hide. So when I do use a blush, these are my favorite kind. I will say the one that I had easily got shattered. So I'm worried for this one. So be careful. Okay, my absolute, 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 absolute favorite bronzer at the moment is actually by Maybelline. It's their City Bronzer in the shade 100. This is just perfect for me when I'm extremely pasty. I don't have it on today. I think I have Marc Jacobs on today. But those are my two favorites. <laughs> but this one, uh, I just love it. And it makes it so easy to build up because it's so fair. So this, to me, is my favorite. Like, every day, throw it on. Don't have to worry about putting too much on or anything like that because it's so buildable. I love this for fair skin. Love this. Let's move on to the last thing, which is lips. So I'm not very much of a lip person. I am somebody who likes to buy lips a lot, and I won't buy them, but I'm constantly like, I want to, which is weird because I don't ever wear lip stuff. <laughs> like, as soon as I'm done getting ready in the morning, I go and eat, and then I immediately leave. So I don't wear lip stuff except for chapstick and like a lip mask. Other than that, I don't really wear it in, except for, for videos and pictures. So, I don't know why I even have lip products, but I do. So, I am currently obsessed with not necessarily the formula, but the shade of this Morphe liquid lip. I don't know. It is in the shade Virgin. It is actually what I'm wearing right now, but I do have Fenty's Gloss Balm on top. But I'm obsessed with this color. I don't really know if I like the formula lip yet, but I do really love this color. So then we can just move on to the next thing, which is the Fenty Gloss Balm. I love this. And the smell of this, oh, it smells so good. I don't know what it smells like, but it smells so good. This I'm obsessed with wearing on top of anything. I'm also obsessed with just wearing it by itself. I love this. I should really get a full size, but you know, bond on a budget. Okay, next is actually these. They are the L'Oreal Signature Rogue, I think. Um, it's an I Create and I Empower. I love these because they're kind of like lip stains, and so they're just really easy to put on. They're pigmented, but they're not like overly pigmented. I really like the doe foot applicator. These are just so easy to just slap something on real quick and still look good. These are great. Okay, absolute last thing, and I'm um obsessed with it. So I'm a very, very dry person, and I mean dry everywhere. I drink tons of water, yet my lips are constantly dry. Like, I mean constantly. Sometimes I'll wake up and there's just like that, you know, that line of, I just tickled my lip. <laughs> that line of, why can't I think of the word? Skin, basically. You know the dead skin you need. I know it's gross. I know. Don't. But this stuff is so fucking good. This is the Flower Beauty Petal Pout Lip Mask. I have this in the shade Nectar. It is pr literally practically gone. I will say it's really weird how it comes out. So I don't know if you're supposed to keep this, but I've kept it just because in my head I feel like it makes the product last. I don't know. But I've kept it. So when you take it off, this is what it looks like, and it comes out in all of those dots. I know, my phone. It won't focus. I need to go get another one. I like the shade Nectar because it looks like your lip color but slightly better and glossy. So I can leave the house wearing a lip mask but it just looks like I'm wearing gloss. So I really love this. It works really, really, really good and I definitely need to go get another one. So yeah, that is all of my favorites for the month of April. If you like these videos, let me know. I, like I said, I probably won't do them very often just because I don't try enough of new products but yeah. That is all I have for this video, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next one.